What's up, folks? Welcome back to another edition, another episode of the wonderfully epic comic readings. Oh, hang on. That's right, baby. We're rebranding the channel. We are now book readings. So this is book readings number nine, recorded in April of 2022. Uh, this episode, we are going to be reviewing Rocks Fall, Everyone Dies by Mr. Eddie Skelson. Skel Skels Skelson's Skeleton Skelson. They're a little different. So let's see on the left here we got the pay some respect to the uh, people that put in work into this and it looks like it's Eddie down the board, cover artist. I'm wondering if that's really Eddie. Maybe it is, maybe not. Make a comment down below if you really know who the uh, cover artist is on this. I imagine at least one of my friends may know. Penciler? We'll have to see. Was it the same person? Letterer? Editor? Who knows? I think it's all Mr. Eddie himself. So let's see. We've got this from the author of Crowley Superhero City and the Lemonati Brothers. Is that why that D's big? Lemonade, Lemonati by Mr. Eddie Skelson. All right, so going through the normal, look, let's check out this cover. The cover's pretty sweet. Big old dragon breathing fire, chasing some young boy, young man, maybe with some kind of a modern comb forward hairstyle. Dragon's pretty massive, though. You could tell he takes that wingspan, takes up a tremendous amount of space up there. So let's see, you know, market value. Looks like this is going to run you, you know, 16 to about $780 to get yourself a copy of the first printing. You know, I was able to pick mine up for 16 bucks, but there are some out there that are around, you know, high 700s. So um, let's take a look here real quick. Do we have that even? Yeah, here we go. Let's see. So yeah, go to old Johnny Amazoni. Don't pick this one. This one sucks. Whoever this one is, not the same deal. I made that mistake. I'm like, where the fuck is Eddie Skelson? And he, ain't, you know, he ain't here. But down here, bro, here's where you go. So look, if you've got Kindle Unlimited, it's a whopping zero bucks. You can get an Audible trial and listen to it for zero bucks as well. And then here's me, bro. So I'm in the $16 club right now. Now, I mean, if you go to Amazon, you know, you go to eBay, that's when you're in the $700 range for the really pristine copies. But you could still pick up a decent one, um, you know, on here if, if, if you need to. So keep that in mind. Yeah, and if you're not in the U.S., well, then go fuck yourself. Uh, so just keep that in mind, too. So, uh, oh yeah, we've got that uh, subscription giveaway going. Even though this is a book reading, we um, are giving away a comic book. Once we hit 500 subscribers, this amazing Spider-Man 311. So uh, hit that subscribe button, share this with your mom, dad, brother, sister, boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, baby's mama. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Share it with all of them. Without further ado, let's get into it. So there's the cover. Let's crack it open. Man, this is a big, this is going to take us a while, gents. You know, look at that. Hopefully there's lots of pictures in here. So there's the cover. You know, the cover in person is pretty lead sauce. Even the side... You know, look at that. My darkness is a little jacked up today. I apologize. Let's see if we can make that a little, a little better for you there, folks. Maybe that helps. There we go. That's a little better. 
So yeah, looks pretty good. You now I like the cover. You know, you know who else likes the cover? Let's go ahead and review it. Boris likes the cover. He's gonna toot his horn. Doot, doot, doot. I love this cover. All right, that's that's into the ground already. So, you know, art style. Uh, it's a book. Being the tale of a gathering of adventures in a mystical land where bravery is second only to greed and stupidity. So third, really. Fourth, if you count ego. By my boy, Eddie. All right, so we're not actually going to read this, folks. So the... The art style, since it's not a comic book, we're just going to give it the old Stoke on Trent. So, um, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. So let's see. Let's at least look at the back cover here. So Eddie Skelson, the author of the Crowley series, the Lemonade Brothers, superhero city in Winter Falls. He's gained attention as an indie writer with a flair for dark humor. That's my boy. Clever scripting and surprising twists. And his growing body of works. Before the dungeons and before the dragons, there has to be a party. That's right, babe. You got to get your group together, man. You need the tank. You need the healer. You need the group put together before you are even going to be doing anything in the dungeon. But before the party can survive the quest, they'll have to survive each other. Aw, oh, shit. That's true. You know, just like when you use that dungeon finder. You know, sometimes you get some douchebags. Sometimes you get some cool bros. But sometimes you get some, some Leroy Jenkins in there too. So, The cleric is bored. Uh-oh. The wizard is broke. No gold. He can't pay his taxes on his property. So he's going to have to leave his, his main city. The rogue and the warrior are on the run. And the ranger just wants to do the right thing. See, that's what I'm talking about. We got the whole group here. And if the gods get tired of their bullshit, it's rocks fall. Every motherfucker dies. And a fantasy book, uniquely just like every other, in which the cover is a lie, you'll find everyone can be a hero, even a cow. Pandemic press, baby. So this came out, this is the COVID, COVID came out. So, yeah, we won't know the story. I will link up here the, the, um, uh, the link to Amazon, so you can check this out if you want to uh, support my boy. But uh, there are a few things that you need to know about the story. So let's see what the review on that. You know, first off, we're going to give the old I hurts to pee. Because, number one, that's a lot of reading when I'm used to comic books. Um, and yeah, if you know the book, you'll know that that little phrase. Um and with that, you know, you got you got wizards in the book. You know, he'll help you pee. You know, he'll help it, you know, if it's peeing, we'll get old Gandalf in there to relieve the pressure. Or whatever the wizard's name happens to be in this particular book. Come to find out. But the most important thing that you need to know, and Eddie himself right there will tell you, that his birthday is on January 28th of every year. So, yeah, I mean, if you need to know anything about this author, it's that his birthday is on January 28th every single year. I mean, you got to get the confetti out. You got to get the party glasses out. Um, I mean, you really you got to do it big on every January 28th every year. You should actually put it on your calendar. Even if you don't know Eddie, you should go ahead and put this on your calendar, January 28th. And then find a way to message him through social media and just say, hey, man, happy birthday. I know it's a big deal. You know, uh, I've got it marked down. So happy birthday. I mean, even Boris, Boris may come in with a happy birthday cake even on January 28th for old Eddie. Um, you know, and, you know, we got to do it big. So, you know, there could be, you know, fireworks that day. You know, we may actually have to have the jets come through. Um you know, if there's an event, you know, we could have Nickelback show up and they could perform their hit someday. 
you know, when they speak of a paperback novel. And I think, you know, in their song, they're actually referencing, you know, rocks fall, everyone dies. So, uh, you know, and if you hang around long enough, you know, they may actually sing their hit song Photograph. Um, and, and I actually think that's the photograph that they were talking about when they wrote that song right there. So, you know, the big takeaway from this video is always remember that January 28th is like the day that that's very important. Um, beyond that, uh, go out, check out this book and, uh, support my boy Eddie. Take it easy. Peace.